Asheville police say there has been a spike in gun violence with more than 200 calls for shots fired so far this year. The latest happened Monday on Haywood Road. Authorities say the victim drove themselves to the hospital. News 13's Taylor Thompson sat down with the police chief to talk about how this year's numbers compare to 2023. Police say that in 2023 total, we saw 15 people shot in Asheville and now almost six months into 2024, we're already seeing 20 people shot and 10 of those were in this month alone. We're experiencing a spike in gun violence for the month of June. Chief Mike Lamb adding that since January 1st, police have responded to 211 calls for service reporting shots fired or someone being shot. This is up from 2023, where in total police responded to 245 shots fired. A little more gunshot calls, a few more, fewer people that were shot. He says there are so many different factors that play a role in these shootings. Each summer we kind of prepare for some type of spike in violence, particularly gun violence. And that they're constantly working with nonprofits to help prevent it. What neighborhoods, what families, what um, um, groups may be involved in this gun violence so they can help us at the community level try to address the rise in gun violence. Historically, Lamb says most of the gun violence happens in public housing neighborhoods and that the two parties almost always know each other. And when it comes to addressing this, Lamb says they focus on two approaches. We try our best to put officers in the areas that gun violence occurs to try to deter that gun violence. They also go after repeat offenders. Try to arrest them before they kill somebody. And with this trend on an upward spiral, Lamb says it's a bit nerve wracking with the warmer months far from over. We're hopeful that July will be a more peaceful month. However, we have a lot of concerns because June has such, been such a violent month. And Chief Lamb says they're in constant need of the community's help in order to reduce the gun violence we're seeing. And as always, if you see something, say something, or if you know of any areas that you believe a crime could occur at, please reach out to the police department. In Asheville, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.